massive top of the table clash against Man City for Palace today. Really tough for Palace, really tough. This is Palace. They'll take on anyone. Today will be a pretty open game. My prediction for today's game uh, is Crystal Palace 2, Manchester City 2. 1-2 results. I hate saying that they might get 2-1. 2-1 Palace, same result as here last season. Palace will give them a good game, but I think they'll just edge it 2-1. Don't bet against Palace, you know, giving it a go and probably scoring some goals. How many goals are Crystal Palace going to score? 10. Uh, I went with my granddad, who's who got me into Palace. I must have been six or seven years old, sat over in the Arthur White stand, and um, all I can really remember is the atmosphere and cheering a goal. It was a nice day, but I have no idea who we were playing against. My first Palace game reporting on the club was away to Exeter City in the Capital One Cup. Palace won 2 1 a day. Here at Sellers Park, it was uh, a 3 2 defeat to Watford. The first Palace game was New Year's Day 1988. The home game against Barnsley, I think it was. Ian Wright scored the winner. He's also my favourite player, I think, Wrighty. Best Palace player of all time. Uh, it's got to be from this, from the current team actually, because this is certainly the best team that we've had in my lifetime. Um, and it's got to be Milo Jedinak. Uh, he just epitomises everything that sort of the club has stood for since he's arrived. Just the fight, the determination. You really wouldn't want to rub him up the wrong way. But actually, off the pitch, he's actually a really nice guy. So yeah, Milo Jedinak. Best player of all time, well, I've been reporting on the club for three years, Gillis Baroni. So many wonderful saves, so many memories, amazing player. Half time. Palace nil, Man City nil. We're giving them a proper game. I'm actually really nervous. I hate it when Palace are in games. I'd rather we be losing. It's been a good half so far, I think. It's been a pretty uh, frenetic start. It's goalless here at half time. Palace uh, really, really working hard against Man City. At the back, we're looking solid. I think Hangler's actually had a pretty decent arc because he's had that to run fast. Nil nil at half time. I think it's been fairly even overall. Um, so here's hoping for a good second half. Come on, Palace. Nice special memories are. Blackburn Rovers here, promotion, 89. FA Cup semi-final, 1990. FA Cup final, 1990. And finishing third in 1991. The, uh, the famous Hopkin looking to curl one game. I can draw like I remember standing on the old wooden chairs at the old Wembley and, um, and hugging this other girl that I just didn't even know who she was. But I think, yeah, that's that's carried on into adult life as well, I think. My favourite Palace moment has to be Dwight Girls' uh, equaliser um, against Liverpool. Um, away from home, though, it's Wilfred Saha's second goal against Wolves. Best moments in a professional capacity, games I've been to. You've got Liverpool here, obviously, the, the late Dwight Girl equaliser. Uh, there have been a couple of promotions, and the winner Anfield, third in the hands. That was sickening for Palace, uh, losing 1-0 to Man City right at the death. Um, didn't deserve it. That hurt. That was a horrible way to lose it. The 1-0 defeat in the last minute, yeah, you can't lie, it is disappointing. It shows how far Palace have come that uh, fans are disappointed uh, with that result. Palace probably deserved the draw, but Man City had uh, a lot of chances in the game, not least uh, one open goal as well. Standout players for me, Kabai and MacArthur, as I said at half time, they were brilliant. Zaha caused problems as well. Yeah, just seemed to be everywhere. I think he did a bit of a number on Yaya Torre today. Uh, and I actually, and, and the back four, I thought were actually were excellent. I think it shows how far we've come though that we're disappointed to lose to Mad City, best team in the league. But uh, we definitely deserve a point there. Next week's another week, and uh, we're still in the top four at the moment, so, you know, things still looking up.